Hey everybody, welcome back for another trek episode on the Dulcet Ranger Trek. We're on number 59 today. We're going to be continuing our adventure through the uh, the Witcher Enhanced Edition. So we're on part 5 of this epic playthrough. This has been an awesome game, having a lot of fun. Following Geralt of Rivia, the esteemed Witcher, as he attempts to find the origins of the mysterious Salamandra cult, who has stolen our Witcher artifacts. So we're right now investigating the city of Vizima, looking for the leaders of this cult. So I'm super excited to continue this adventure today. Let's go over to the game. Such a wonderful adventure. So cool. Really love the uh, whole Witcher universe. It's just a lot of fun to get to know this Slavic-inspired story. Of course, the Witcher uh, was initially created by the now esteemed author Andrzej Sapkowski, who's a Polish author. Of course, CD Projekt Red uh, is a Polish game developer, and this is their first major title. So here we are at the dike. Let's get in there. So yesterday we um, traveled to a very dark and mysterious swampy island by boat. And we can see off there in the distance. That island over there has um, a number of quests and major plot developments that uh, all uh, lead us closer to our main quest, which is finding out why these salamandras decided to steal our witcher stuff at the beginning of the game. So I've uh, done an initial trek over there to that island. And now I'm back in the main, uh, sort of the slum quarter of Vizima. Vizima is a city on lockdown. There's a terrible plague uh, plaguing this city and the land. Hey, what's up, Sin Industries? How are you doing today? Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing very well. So I need to figure out what to do right now. Now, there are a number of side quests that are huge in this game. And even though they're side quests, they really do tie into the main quest of this game. But it's kind of impossible to progress without doing the major side quests. That's right, Big Sin Industries. Never heard of anything like this. What is happening in this game? Never happens. Not in real life. Right? Never. It never happens. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Missing boy. Back on the island. Vivaldi. So this is all of my quests. There's <laughs> so many. But, um... Yeah, there's a few people that I need to see here. So let's go over to Vivaldi. There's a dwarf. He's right up here. Let's go talk to him. Not the composer, mind you. So we've been meeting a bunch of different major and minor NPCs in this game. And this guy uh, is sort of a, well, he is a banker. And um, sort of an influential character in this city and in this plot. What brings you here? I got this thing for you. I have a message for you from Yevin. Yevin? I don't need to read it. I know what he wants. 
Witcher know that whether elf, human, or dwarf, they all want the same thing. Money. <laughs> she she <does>. dwarves. <laughs> How witty. Shove off. Come back later for my answer to the elf. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I need to leave and then come back. So there was an elf over on that swampy island that um, gave me a message to deliver to this guy. And now uh, I need his reply for when I go back. What brings you here? You know what I want. Have you finished your answer to Yavin? Give me it. Yes, here it is. The elf will surely reward you. Let's hope you're right. Okay, good. Let's go to the swamps. Give Yavin my... Reply. Fantastic. We won't be going back to the swamp for a little bit here. I need to do some questing in this city. So let me just see what I have. To, what else I have to do. Now, there's this major quest over in the swamp that involves a bunch of runes and a, a huge, like, mage tower that I haven't gone into yet. And I think in order for me to even progress that, I'm going to need to complete some of these other quests in other parts of the city. Let me just see here. Okay, great. So we will probably be going back to that swamp pretty soon. Ooh, I can level up though. This is nice. Let me see if there's any nice potions I can make. Nothing really. Sometimes you can make some really powerful potions that allow you to level up early or give you skills early. But right now, I don't have the ingredients for that at the moment. I have all these major skills here. Very sick. Let's uh, level up. Oh, you know what? I did get new signs here in the last episode. So signs are like your way of casting magic in this game. Uh, big since uh, there were other options from that biggie. That's right, but they weren't highlighted in blue, Big Sin, um, which means that I've already heard that dialogue from him. So I'm not sure what I need to do this. Okay, so this is a really nice... Uh, Quen. Quen is really nice. It's like a defensive spell. I think I'm going to level that up a bit. Assailant loses... F nice. Great. Generates damage absorbing. Okay. This is what I have. Nice. Get that. Get that. So I want to level up this art sign because it's sort of like a shield spell. And there's some very strong enemies that really kick my ass if I'm not careful in that swamp, so I kind of want to level it up, get a little bit better. But these are like your, you have two different types of swords, one for humans and living animals, and another for monsters and undead. So I'm kind of leveling up my silver sword stuff slowly because I just got my silver sword recently. Okay, good. Now we're going to rest, uh, I guess till nighttime. Let's see if I can find this. Paladin that I'm looking for. And I may need to sell a couple things to get it, but it'll be worth it, I think. Reduces damage by quite a bit. There's some very tough enemies in that swamp. I need. What do you? The armor. Show, Show me. me your Mr. What? Yes. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to buy. Excellent leather jacket. Very nice. Um, but I need to sell something here. How much is this worth? Uh, here's a special sword I have, which I'm probably never going to use. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Hmm. I'm going to sell this dagger, for sure. Let me, uh... I don't want to sell that nice sword. That's just too nice. Too nice. But, I can sell some other crap. Give me a second. This will be great. I'm really excited to see what this armor looks like. Yeah, Big Sin, the Witcher world is very cool. It's kind of drab and scary. Hmm. Uh, hold on. Let me sell this guy. Oh, he has some nice books, too. Let me sell him. Oh, I. F oh, good. I'm going to sell, like. Let's see. I just need, like, 60 arms right here. Uh, good. I'm at 50-30. Right. Hold on, what does he say? Hmm. About the tower. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Oh, nice. Tell me quickly. 
Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that! Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. All right. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Hmm. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! That's right. One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, oh, you the Stone one. of Wisdom. He has one. I suppose I'm to find the others? Yes. Near the tower, you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough. I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenfort. I'll destroy them, smash them. Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Oh. Here. There you are. I needed him to do this earlier. Uh... That formula needs rethinking. Okay, well, that was helpful. So, sorry, a bunch of that is updating right now. I was actually supposed to talk to him earlier. Time to talk to Raymond about Coxstein. Okay, Raymond is the detective. All right, Big Scene, you're right. I am going to go talk to that uh, detective really quick. But, okay, so I've gathered four, and I need six more. Okay, good. And he just gave me one. So that'll be five? I don't know if that'll be five. Right. First, let's buy the armor. It's gonna be fantastic. Actually, no, I don't have any money. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I'm super excited to see what this armor looks like. So first, I will buy the armor, then go see the detective, and then hopefully go back to the swamp again. It's gonna be sick. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm pretty glad I came back here. What do you- Show me- Mr. Get it? Okay. Clearly need this. Do it. Yes. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, look at that resistance. Mm. Less damage. Mm. Delish. So delish. Cost me 5,000. That was all my gold. But I think it'll be worth it. Because there's some very tough. And it has an extra potion slot here. So that's nice. Fantastic. Oh, did it drop that? I can't sell this? Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, hold on. Some swallows here. Uh, great. Keep my... Where are my cat potions? Where are my cat potions? Where are you? Cat. Okay, so good. Let's check out this armor. Hmm, yeah. A little bit more decked out. It's got those slick, uh, quick slot, um, potion slots there on his shoulder. Another satchel. Very nice. I don't know if that increased his carrying capacity or anything. I don't think it did. But definitely a huge damage uh, decrease. Okay, cool. Great. Let's go talk to the detective. Sick. Sick. That's going to be super helpful. Especially with this other... Um, sign I got, Quinn. It's going to be very helpful, reducing damage. Because there's some very, very strong enemies in the swamp. Come here. Detective. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Bro. No. You No, what are you doing? Other sword. Oh, great. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, I kind of fucked that up. Uh, so I just saved it. 
I accidentally got out the wrong sword there in that last moment. I'll kill you! No, God, I did it again. Fuck. God damn it. Nice. Pwned. Thanks, Gerald. You saved my life. The bastards snuck in here. Somehow they found out I'm after them. Who? What happened? Salamandra. I was a step away from solving the mystery. One small step. Relax, Raymond. You're safe now. Not likely. They're following me day and night. I gotta find a way to lose them. What do we do? I'll set a false trail. You question the new suspects. Who? Here, take these notes. They list all the key leads. What do you intend to do? They're on my heels, so I've got to disappear. I'll draw them away while you pursue the investigation. I'll find you, White Wolf. Sick. Okay, I want to see how Raymond is doing. I must cross-question all the stuff. Start with Ramsmeat. I need to question the merchant Louvarden. Uh... Okay. So, that guy's been helping me investigate, uh, on his end. And, uh, oh, I need this. Good. Are there any more remains here? I'm just going to take this to sell, even though I don't need it. Okay, yeah, great. Fantastic. So now there's some more things I can do here in the city before I go back to the swamp. Ah, this guy might know something. I seek the Sephiroth stones. All right, later, Tari. I haven't yet located them all. I thought you might know such art and oddities. I once purchased one for its magical potential, which turned out false. And I paid a mage a costly sum for the examination. Then would you sell it to me? Sell my Tiparath? <laughs> I'm rather fond of it. Shit. I'll give you a good price. 500 orns? Shit. I didn't think it was worth so much. But all right. I don't have five hundred. I wear Tiparath as an amulet. <laughs> we can deal right now. God. Frick. I don't have the money <laughs> yet, but I'll bring it soon. No hurry. I'm not that eager to make the trade. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Uh, so I'm gonna need more money. I just bought this for five thousand gold. <laughs> That's all my money. But I can hopefully get it back. Yes. Way. I suspect you know about Salamandra. I know nothing. Is that so? We'll see. Can I return to my business? We need to talk about your dealings with Salamandra. You paid to have the professor released. <laughs> Why would I bother with a criminal? Why not? Would I do it so clumsily as to implicate myself? Uh... Hmm. I don't believe you. I don't know. I don't have any definitive proof. So I'll let it lie, for now. Wise choice. You should trust your instincts more. Okay. <laughs> that guy has a hilarious accent. Doesn't really make sense. Yes? Okay, hold on. Uh, let me just see if I can sell him some crap. Uh, I can't sell him anything. Okay, great. Well, at least I know where one of them is. Once I have 500 gold, I can come back to him. Oh, hey, dog. Oh, hey. Want to maybe... Get the F out of my way, please. Dog. Dog. Come on. Dog. Hello. What can I get her? Oh, thanks, man. Unfortunately, there's no fast travel in this game. Not really. Um. Yet. Perhaps it appears later in the game. But right now, I sort of have to do a, a bunch of huffing. What is this? Mr. Marlowe sent me. Who is this? What's happening? Raymond said he has some new information. Come to his house as soon as you can. Ah, thanks for the message. Uh, is this a trap? The Zima Confidential. That's right. Okay, cool. Give me a second here. Always save before going through doors. Oh, he's here. Welcome. You won't believe what happened. Wow, wow. Tell me. Not so fast. Remember, Are you... I have expenses. I have no money. How much do I owe you? <laughs> 200 RM. Shit. 
<laughs> I got nothing. This investigation is getting expensive. I'm not the Prophet Labiota. I can't live on roots and berries. Neither can my informers. I guarantee you these are the bare necessities. For 200 orans I could get. The costs are what they are. Take it or leave it. Really? Yes? Uh, I'll be back. See you later. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I am now broke. Great. Thank you. That armor looks slick, though. <laughs> Look at those amazing, like, gauntlets. Those are sick. Yeah. It was worth it. <laughs> you. Yes? I want to pay you. This and I'm not... All right. 200 orans. Down to business. They transferred the prisoner after the attack. Hmm. Not good. Especially since we won't get anything else out of him. He died last night. Oh, no. How did that happen? Well, he wasn't in great shape, so I guess it's no surprise. But I have a feeling... Someone helped him along? Exactly. Shani is a good friend of yours, right? Ask her to do an autopsy. Once we know the cause of death... Wait a minute. Are you spying on me? <laughs> That's my job. See you later. Okay. So... Shani is a friend of mine. She's a doctor. She actually helped me get into the city, even though it's under quarantine. Let me see. Is she here? There she is. Thank you. My God. Yes. I'm glad you're happy, Big Sin. Good, good. Fantastic. Uh, Shani, I wanted to ask you something. Mm-hmm. I need your help with an autopsy. An autopsy? Since when do you deal with stuff like that? Since I started investigating Salamandra. Okay, though, I'm no coroner. You'll have to interpret our findings. We'll meet in the evening. Until then, gather as many clues as possible. What? I'll sniff around. More? Get the body from the grave digger. We'll meet at the hospital in the evening. Uh... How do I find information to help the autopsy? Ask Vincent Mice, but also look for books on anatomy and pathology. Farewell. Ah. Okay. While I'm waiting for the corpse, I should talk to someone who have uh, conducted such uh, some books about it. Ah, uh, okay. So this is gonna help me... Shit. Can I rest here? Will she let me rest? Yes, good. Not in the sleeping with her sense. <laughs> let me just, uh, hold on. There's something else I want to do at night. Here. No, no. Just don't rest. Don't rest yet. That guy, um, rams meat. I want to go see if I can talk to him. But I can only talk to him in the tavern at night, which is right now. So we're going to go do that. I actually really enjoy that about this game. Um, just how much time management there is. Much item management. It's, it's actually pretty fun. It brings out the immersiveness of the game. Um, kind of makes you feel like these characters have their own little lives that they're playing out. You can't just find them any time of the day. This is like the slums right here. Got a bunch of bandits and whores. My type of people. Beggars. Oh, shit. So yeah, this is kind of what I'm talking about. In um, Slavic mythology, and this game and the Witcher universe is kind of based on Slavic mythology. Um... There are, like, vampires, but they're not like the vampires that we think of today that are, like, uh, beasts in disguise as humans. Like, a vampire in this world is actually a creature that sucks blood. And, um, yeah, that's what this is. Very cool. I don't know why I keep finding vampires here. Preying on the poor here. Over here. Putting gold in his barrel. That was his bank. Pidgeys, go. Let's go see what's in the cemetery. I'm sure that'll be interesting. Does he say something different to me now? What do you I don't need your permission anymore. I want to get inside. City authorities prohibit. I have a pet.
pass from Captain Mice. Oh, nice. Here are the keys. Go inside where we lay the fresh ones. But if they kill you, don't return to haunt me. Uh, okay. Farewell. Great. So, more than one way to get into this. Should take a look around the crypt in the cemetery. I can enter now. Okay, good. This is going to be sick. Uh, probably hella dangerous, too. It's plague-ridden, undead, infested <laughs> cemetery, the cemetery here. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Bug's corpse. What is this? Okay, so this is like another district now. Not a huge district, though. Crypt and the trade quarter. Let's take a look around. So apparently at at night. Oh my god. Uh Bro. Go. Right. So there's something I'm trying to get from this type of monster, but because I don't have a journal entry about it? I can't... Yeah, I don't have... Al Ghul in my... In my monster bestiary here. That's because I haven't bought enough books about it. F books. I just want video games. What's this guy say? White Roses Ham Sandwich. What is this that I picked up? Petri's filter formula? Scroll contains a formula of Petri's. Who gave me this? Okay. That's good. Drop it. Um, unless those are worth something, I still don't really know. Okay, great. Uh, crypt entrance. Unknown herbs. Ah! Oh, you! Okay, good. So if you notice, sometimes I'm switching my stances here. This is like um, strong, light, and group attack stances. And depending on your situation, you have to use different stances and different swords on different enemies. So there's a, there's a lot of kind of depth to the combat. And sometimes um, it can be sort of challenging. Figuring out the correct uh, types of attacks to use. Yes, big sin. Petrus filter. Oh, the the grave digger gave it to me. Oh, thank you, thank you for that. Thanks, chat. <laughs> what is this? I'll take this. Uh, not the bread though. Okay. What else is over here? Anything in the center? Just a bunch of monsters. Nothing here. Okay, good. So apparently at nighttime, the creatures are more uh, out in force here in the in the cemetery. What is this? Oh, I can put something in this stone relief here. Okay, let's go in the crypt. See if I can find this body I'm looking for. And investigate it myself, perhaps, or something. I have no idea. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, so it's probably very dark in here. Undoubtedly. Very dark. Okay. Neat. Oh, God. Unfortunately, I dropped my torch. Jeez, owned, bro. That's sad. Uh, this is good, though. Give me that money. Yeah, 
Get him. Alright, cool. So, how big is this area? Kind of big. Um, let me see if I can bust this down. There's certain walls that you can break using this particular sign. Okay, these enemies are not too tough at the moment. That guy's really big. I don't like that. So you see how they're like surrounding me right now? If I use like a different stance, I could probably hit them all, but I'm just gonna try to kill this guy. First. Okay, good. Slain. Slain. Okay, take all this crap. What is this? Graver bone. I'll take that. And an altar with gold. Good. Raymond's corpse. <gasps> Raymond! No, dude. Oh, no. Autopsy will reveal... Tell Calxton I found proof of his innocence. Okay. I'll tell Thaler I have proof of his innocence. What was he proving? What are these... I'll tell Levardin I found proof of his innocence. <laughs> so I'm just reading this. Um, I must not confront Azar directly. I must... Okay. Just have a grave digger about my discovery return is key. And... What else? Anything else? What the frick is all this. I just gained a shitload of experience for finding the detective's body here. I don't know why. Um. Okay. Well. That's very weird. Really weird. I know Azar is masquerading as Raymond. Oh. I have proof. I should go ahead with the autopsy, not to not to learn the murderer's identity, but to discover the, his methods. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a guy I've been looking for named Azar Javed, who is like the leader of this Salamandra cult, at least in the city. And I think what this is telling me is that that guy I've been speaking to is Azar Javed, and he's been masquerading as this detective and leading me on because this is the real detective. Oh shit. Shit. It's like Harry Potter 3 all over again. My god, I feel betrayed. <laughs> okay, let me eat some meat. Keep investigating this very cool dungeon here. Keep taking the money and the loot that I find. Here, grab this. Good. Okay, cool. So all these al alchemical things are very valuable over time. Uh, look over here. Another mangled corpse. Uh, take this. Oh, a ghoul. What do you know? Done. It's a little bit dark right here. Take that. Uh, I can sort of still loot, though. Oh, good, a torch. Ugh. Give me that. Get it out. Great. Sick. Oh, it's such a strange thing in this game, though. You can't have the torch out while looking at. Ah, uh, shit. Sort out. Um, but what you can do is use a certain potion called cat. 
which allows you to see in the dark, essentially. Hello? Hello? Thank you. No. What the f- Okay. It's alright. There's some, uh, little things with this game that are not optimized. Such is- Wait, is that Dwarven- Is that Dwarven beer? Dark beer from Cadewin. Hmm. Let me see here. What about this? Barrels. Oh, nice. Oh my god, dude. Stop it. Please. <laughs> like, I can't believe they left it that way. Isn't that interesting? It's like... It's amazing. This isn't even the original release of this game. And they left it like that. Um, in case you don't know, this game originally came out in 2007. And what I'm playing now is the re-release of it in 2008 called the Enhanced Edition. Which added a few extra quests, but also mainly optimized much of uh, engine and graphical um, uh, just improved on those things give me your ship okay what else is here trunk can't go over there skeleton how do I Okay, I guess I'll take that. Right. I shall go around. It's a dark ass dungeon here. Sick. Watch out for that body. So, I don't know. exactly sure what parts of that quest I just skipped. Or maybe I didn't skip anything. I think it just added more elements to the investigation. When I found that dead body. Uh, but there's just so many different ways. Oh, I can use the torch on him. Sick. Oh my god. Light it up. What's in here? Good. Take it. I like gold. I spent it all. Sarcophagus. Oh, an axe. I'll take that. Oh, nice. Some more rune stones. This one is one I have not seen before. Temporarily imbues blades with magic. Increases chance of hitting opponents and damage inflicted by 40%. Increases chance of... A oh, I can equip it right now? But this one, I have to reforge. Oh, because this is a rune stone. I see, interesting. So there's a difference between these two different things. Um, I'll just take it all up. Some stones you have to use to make swords. Ah, uh, assassin dagger again. And it looks like some are temporary uh, upgrades. Hello, where am I? Oh, there's a small object in my way. <laughs> Blocking my bath. Good. What's in here? Hello. What is this? Unknown potion. I don't like that. I don't know why I can't identify certain potions. I probably need to buy particular uh, books about potions in order to identify unidentified potions. Dude. Will you please keep your torch out, please? That would be amazing for me. That is way too advanced for the Witcher. Okay, good. Let's keep looking around. Some ghoulie boys. Okay. Amazing. But this lets me open it with my torch out. I don't know why. Sulfur. Interesting. Swallow. Good. And dog tallow. Okay, good. Somebody does... Oh, good. I got five dog tallows. Which is like dog grease. <laughs> Wait, where is that? I have it here somewhere. Uh, rear wrench. Sweet. Dog tallow. Six. Okay. Great. Another quest completed. 
Almost. Alright, let's get out of here. I think... I think that's it. Yeah, looks like that's it. Great. Well, this was very cool. Man, what a sick dungeon. Um, this game does so well at atmosphere. And um, I think artistic direction is very strong. It just has a few game gameplay elements that are um, not as streamlined as they could be. Um, but aside from that. Yeah, Big Sin. You like that dog grease? I know somebody like you probably love that kind of shit. Like, how can I rub that on my wooding projects to make a smoother finish? <laughs> okay, let's go out of here. I don't know that I need to come back to the cemetery. Maybe at night. Maybe I need to get some dog grease. All over those zombies. Who is this? Who the fuck are you? Save it. Who the fuck is this? I'm not gonna talk to her yet. What do you know? Uh. I'm here about the notice. Yes. Here, I have six jugs I have of dog's six lard. Jugs of dog's lard. Nice. I use the lard on the casket. <laughs> Here's your payment. Sure you do. Great. And do I have to give him his key back? I don't know. Here's your key. Learn anything? I found Raymond's body in the crypt. Ah. How? Oh, I spoke to him recently. Now I'm sure. The leader of Salamandra, a mage capable of spinning illusions, is masquerading as Raymond. Uh, but I have to play along with him. Wait, do you just... I should not have told him that. Okay. See, I found the real body of Raymond in there. Whoa. Okay. I'm at 550 gold. Good. Making our way back to 5,000. What does she say? Who is this? <gasps> oh, woe is me. Sure. Will no one help me? Why the grief? My husband haunts me. What do I do? <laughs> haunts you in your bedchamber? <laughs> My late husband haunts me. <laughs> Tell me more. Maybe I can help. My husband died a month since, and now haunts me in my home, wailing nightly. But the worst thing is he... I'm listening. This voice actor. Worse, he flies around the cemetery at night, shouting lies about me. Doubtless tongues are wagging already. Set him straight, I beg you. Uh, it will cost you 200 orans if I succeed. Oh, that's a hefty sum. Profiting off someone else's misery. Well, deal with him and I'll pay. Uh, where will I find you when I'm done? I'm here every day at noon. Why can't I collect payment when I want? Are you daft? My husband flies around ruining my reputation. I'll not be seen in the company of a killer. Whoa. So long. Wait, so... Can I go back in? Hold on. Oh, I can. I don't need the key anymore. I don't need the key anymore. Okay. I don't think I could rest in here as far as I know. Uh, I can't rest here. Hold on. Okay, so I gotta come back here at night, I guess. And slay her husband's ghost. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hey, Big Sin, is my mic okay? Is the, is the balance all right? Sometimes have to be a little bit tricky telling if it is or not. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. So now, uh, I have no idea. I just got to talk to everybody again. Let's just talk to everybody. Let's see if Siegfried's here. Siggy boy, are you here? Sigster, you should be here. But he never is these days. Okay, good. Let's go... Um... Will this guy talk to me yet? Need any? Will you I only work for... Bye. But I am friends with you. I don't understand. Okay, that's strange. I don't know why that guy's not talking to me. Uh... 
Let's not go to the detective's house. You know what? That must be why we found him back there so soon. After he said he was going to go into hiding. Maybe that's why. Okay, hold on. Um, I guess go to... Talk to... Why is it directing me here? Oh. Do I need to talk to Shani again? Hold on. So much shit to do. Hold on. The autopsy will reveal Hazard's method. Uh, I should go ahead with the autopsy. Not to learn the murder isn't, but discover his methods. So where's the autopsy? With Shani? Okay, hold on. Okay. Midnight. Oh. Go near the cemetery at midnight. Okay. Is that the nighttime quest? Okay. Kalkstein, clear. The Varden, clear. Baller, clear. Gotta find Siegfried sometime. Try to lure Azar, posing as the private eye, into a trap. Uh, okay. Just making sure I'm... So, I somehow need to... Do the autopsy. On that body. And I think Johnny said that, uh, that's in the, uh, hospital. So what'll it be? Hmm. Okay. I figured out Javed. Spit it out. Javed is using an illusion to disguise himself as Raymond. The real detective is dead. I have solid proof. Javed's now free to pursue his plans. He wanted me to go after Vincent, Ramsmead, and Kalkstein. Dog's balls. I don't know what to say. A while longer and he'd have duped us all. How do you want to finish this son of a bitch off? I need to weaken him. Unfortunately, I don't know how. Talk to the men he's after. They might know. Hmm. I've figured out Salamandra. Right. Uh... I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Can I sell him some crap? So we'll... Wait, it just gave me a journal. Update there. Ah, I missed it. Okay. What is that saying? I can't read it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I sold him that shitty axe. I can sell him this diamond. Whatever that is. Mm. Or it was a sapphire. Okay, we're getting some good money here. And some good experience. Gonna level up soon. Great. Get me out of here. Hell with it. Okay, so that guy's innocent. Ish. At least in terms of this investigation. Who else do I need to... What did the journal say? Oh my god. Uh... Uh... Okay. No. No. Okay, I... I don't know. I'm just gonna keep, uh... Letting people know that they are innocent. So... Luvarden and... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kalkstein and Lovarden. Okay. Let me go... Talk to Kalkstein. My friend. Kalkstein. I don't know if I need to... Let me see if Shani's here. Uh, I don't think she is, though. I'm not going to see if she's there. Let's talk to Kalkstein. Um, every time I progress one of these quests, it gives me more experience, so it's valuable to just go through them quickly. Hmm. Uh. I suspected you were working with Javed. You think I lead Salamandra? I'll die laughing! Hmm. Uh, Someone went a long way to implicate you. Oh, so you believe it's not me? Azar wanted me to think you worked for him. I'd never do that. Know why? Why? That madman draws power from fire. 
It's the element of chaos, uncontrollable by rational thought, the opposite of the order embodied in the other elements. Drawing from fire is dangerous. That's all I need to know. Okay. That formula needs rethinking. Earned his gratitude and gained information about Azogeth, which has to do with fire. His magic is based hmm. on fire. Uh... I know Raymond is the Salamandra leader. Are you sure? Yes, I have irrefutable evidence. Azar killed Raymond and assumed his identity using an illusion. Oh, wow. The rogue! What do you intend to do about it? You're better off not knowing. Be careful. He has great power. You must separate him from its source, the ah. element of fire. Okay. Lure him to a place where the magical aura is unstable. It would be best if this place were surrounded by the opposing element, water. Ah. The tower in the swamp. Ideal. You'd stand a chance there. Okay. That's great to know. Unfortunately, I can't get to that. He decided to use uh, the, yeah, the swamp tower. And I leveled up. Great. Uh, man, I really need to buy these fucking books, bro. Uh, can I sell something to him? I need space. Sell crap to him. Who's fat? Um, this stuff is sort of worth some stuff. Never mind. Let's go. Okay, so now we know where we're going to fight this mage, which will be in the swamp. Um, hopefully we can, maybe we can set that up before we go back to the swamp. Um... Okay, good. Let me just, uh... Check this again. So, I have only two runes. Okay. Leveled up sword. And... Luvardin is the other person I need to talk to. Um, and he's back over there. But let me see if Shani is in this, uh... Hospital. Really quick. Got so many things to keep track of. It's crazy. It's insane. Is she here? Yes, she is. <clears throat> At last, I found you where you're supposed to be. Hi, Geralt. What's up? Hi, Shani. I miss Oxenfurt sometimes. Oh. You could always go back. No, I'm needed here. If you have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly, I need to get back to work. Well, uh... Okay, I need you to help me move. I need you to help me with an autopsy. What? That's illegal. It's necessary. Visit me at night. We'll talk. Oh my god. Fuck. Where are you staying? <laughs> I have a room in the north. Easy to opposite quickly. Uh I need can it wait. Well, I Visit me at home. The hospital Oh okay. See. Alright. So I can only talk to her at night about this autopsy. So, what I will do <laughs> is go over to the inn. Uh, I guess I could talk to Lou Varden now, but curses. I don't want to go in the detective house, detective's house right now. Let me go speak to Lou Varden really quick, and then I will come back here. I will rest. And, uh, no, no for pay for this. and then we can do those nighttime quests, figure out what the frick to do next after that. But I want to turn some shit into this guy because I want money and experience. Not enough for me. Nice. You. Yes? Okay. Look at all these. Oh. Wow. Uh, here you go. I have three salamander pins. Will you tell me about your secret society now? Excellent. I normally pay 20 apiece, but I'll make an exception. I'll give you 10 times that. 10 Great, times. Great, but I still want to know why you're paying bounty hunters to track down bandits. They're not good for business. Your business? All businesses. Listen, there are forces beyond your imagination at work here. 
Be thankful you don't know the world for what it is. Duvarden, I've heard so many high and mighty speeches that yours doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit about these forces. <laughs> My only concern is reaching the Salamandra leaders and killing Azar Javed. That I'd like to see. Should you succeed, find me, and I'll reward you handsomely. And if you destroy Salamandra as a whole, I will repay you for your efforts. Oh. That won't be easy. I may come see you again, and I'll be counting on your assistance. I'll help if I can. See you later. Yes? Oh, uh... I'm just gonna, uh... I've nearly completed my investigation. Go ahead. I have a little patience left. Let's summarize the facts. I'm more curious about your conclusions. Not all your money is clean. You can't make a living cultivating violets. <laughs> Spare me. You bribe guards to ignore your contraband. You say contraband? I say importation. You finance illegal schemes. I'm diversifying risk. <laughs> and you belong to a secret society. A broad network of associates. I guess you're not the one I'm looking for. How did you arrive at that conclusion? You're a thoroughbred merchant, Luvarden. So tied up in international business that you can't afford getting involved with a group of subversives. Oh? You live off the status quo. All your associates would eliminate you if you threatened the stability oh. of their investments. Nice analysis. Uh, let's discuss this no further. Quit bluffing, Declan. This symbol signifies my secret society. Ah. We seek to destroy Salamandra. Really? Learn anything useful? The Salamanders have risked much. This is a political matter, let me tell you. Some larger schemes at play in Redania. Few people know the secret. King Faltest, the Lodge of Sorceresses, and I watch the northern border. Really? How does this relate to Salamandra? Azar Javed has sent a special force north. My men saw them. He too knows something's brewing and is making preparations. What the fuck is going on? Okay, so this is... Uh, interesting to talk to him. There is a bigger plot here. Yes? ...than I know about. Okay, I need to buy your crappy fucking... I have 500 orans, though it's quite a... I sadly relinquish it, but my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours. What? Wait. Did he not? <gasps> they gave it to me for free! Oh, that's lit, dude. Okay, now I got one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many of these do I have? Uh, two. One, two. Three. No, just two. Got a lot of quest items here. Okay, I just have two. And I've already placed four of them? Four or five? I don't even know. I don't even effing know, dude. So many little quests. So we're eventually going to go back to the swamp. Uh, let me just keep looking around. There's more to do here for the moment. That was interesting, though. Um, so there's some other uh, major uh, organizations investigating this salamandra problem as well. Not just me. This motherfucker's a thorn in everybody's side. Eternal fire fill my heart. Okay. That's good. I have a lot of money now. Relatively speaking. And uh, I can do some things at night right now. So I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna level up. Can I make any sick, nasty potions? Uh, I actually do need another cat. Oh my God. Several of those. So cat, cat is a useful potion. It just allows you to see in the dark, in really dark dungeons sometimes. Uh, okay, good. But I don't really need any more of those. Three now. Great. Oh, I have six regular talents. 
Six bronze, two silver talents. I don't know why I started getting silver talents, but that's very good. So there's different tiers of your talents here. There's bronze level, there's silver level, and gold, and each of these uh, different attributes, signs, steel sword, and silver sword. So uh, these are silver talent points are very, very good. Um, and very high level. Okay, so what I will do is, are there... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, enables performance of cleansing ritual in place of power. Hmm. Many, many, many good skills here. What is this do? 50%. That's amazing. Uh, 50%. Minus 50%. Oh, that's amazing. These are very good. Okay. Let's get this. Strength level 3 here as a silver point. Definitely want that. Uh, I'm going to get this regen. Ooh, knockdown resistance. Oh, it's delicious. Getting knocked down in this game is so bad. It's so bad for you. Uh, I might get that. But I think I should do... This, which is... Greater damage, basically. Okay, good. Now, let's level up... Uh, that. Okay. It's leveling up this Ard sign. It's the pushover spell, basically. Uh, I have a trap sign. I'm going to level up Quen, which is a shield sign. Um, damage absorption. Okay, nice. And... Acidic. Oh, sign duration, 10%. Nice. Okay, so that's really good. Um, just looking for... Damage here. Let's do that. So, basically, more damage for the strong stance of the silver sword. And that's all I got. Amazing. So let's wait till nighttime. I'll go around uh, midnight-ish to the cemetery again. Damn, so many layers to this game. I love it. That's what's so fun about it. Can't wait to play. Can't wait to play the sequels to this game too. That's mostly why I'm starting with this game. I know that the sequels to this are quite well received, but I really don't love to start in the second or third part of a series. I like to kind of see where it's all come from, if I can. Is this guy here? He's not here. Okay, never mind. But I do want to drop some crap. Damn. Okay. Let's drop this crap. Put this away. Ah, uh, that. Hmm. Cat. Let's put that up here. Okay, great. Don't really need a lot of this stuff. Um, fucking bread. Get rid of that shit. Get rid of this bun. Uh, okay. Diamond dust. Did I? Oh yeah, I dropped like all these things. Okay, good, 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 good. What is this? Hangman's venom. Okay. I'll just drop that too. And I actually don't even need any of these greases right now, either. Okay, great. Now I got lots of space. Fantastic. Okay, let's go do some ghost busting. I don't know. You know, I'm going to just try something really quick. Because somebody said I needed to speak to this guy Ramsmeat. But maybe I don't anymore. <laughs> Good one. I guess I can bribe my way Looking in here. for. Is there anything I need to do? Oh, just twenty. All right, go in. Just twenty gold. I'll do it. There he is. What's up, bro? I oh, was sharpening that blade. What's he got to say? What do you want, Wolf? Oh. 
Yeah. Want the truth about Salamandra? Let's tell him. I'm listening. Uh, I figured out Javed. Sick. Good. So you gained the element of surprise. But you'll still have to face this powerful sorcerer alone. Maybe Kalkstein has some ideas. Good work, Wolf. Uh, Want the truth about I'm listening. I'll be back. Okay, good. Uh, that was not a quest, I guess. But he probably has some crap in there that I want. Oh. Bookkeepers of Sodden. I have no idea what that is. Raspberries. Don't need this. Anything good in here? Sometimes you find some very... Uh, useful things. I don't know if this is worth 20 gold, though, to come in here. Especially since apparently I didn't need to talk to him. Although earlier it said I did need to talk to him. But I guess not. Anything good? Did I get 20 gold worth of items? Okay, that's... Sh <laughs> I guess that's worth it. F it. At least I know. That I didn't need to talk to him. Take me away. So let's go... Do some ghost busting now. That'll be fun. Maybe that dude is in his room. Like he's supposed to be. Are you here yet? You're not here at midnight. I don't know when you're gonna be here. Where the frick is this dude? I don't know where he is. That is that is pissing me off. He has a quest. I need to turn in his like tongues. I killed a bunch of monsters. I have the tongues. Okay, good. Maybe. Can I go in here? I don't even know. We give our lives to the order. Okay, can't. Oh. Do this. Oh, that guy's on my team. Are you that lady's husband? Where's your body? Where is his body? Can I... Do something with this guy? I'm Uh, he keeps calling his wife a whore. I don't know why. Is that who I... That must be him, right? I don't think... Uh, I think that's who I needed to find. Maybe you have to go talk to her after that. <laughs> and be like, why is he calling you a whore? What's that about? Oh, no. Oh, what happened? Oh, I stunned him. Oh, that was delish. Okay, good. Is there really anything here? So he doesn't know where his body is? Oh, God. Hello, please. Get him. No. Am I looking for his body? Or not? Hold on. Restless ghost. I have to go near the cemetery at midnight and send the ghost into the great beyond. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do, though. Like, she probably wants me to kill him because he knows something. But maybe there's some uh, particular body here. Anything that appears at night only here, perhaps, has to do with that guy. But I don't... I don't think so. I think I just gotta go back. It's strange that it didn't uh, up, um, update that quest when I spoke to him. Let's go back. 
Well, this is good. At least we know where not to look now. Just as important as knowing where to look. Pro tip. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to kill him? I don't know. Uh, I can do that, but... Uh, I don't know. Seems strange. Oh, so let's, fire, fill my heart. let's go talk to Shani now. You want me to kill him, Big Sin? Uh, I guess I could. Sometimes there's just alternate uh, things that can happen. Spreading rumors about his wife. Yeah, maybe. But why isn't he hostile? That's that's what I'm wondering. Maybe they're not rumors, bro. Um, okay, I'll just kill him. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you complete the quest, usually. There's just sometimes peaceful ways to do it. Yeah, get paid for the KO. Uh, okay. Where is... Sh Young Shani, where are you? Let's go find her. Let's see if I can at last complete this autopsy, which I have not been able to do yet. here. I have not been into the trade quarter of this city yet. I don't know when I'm going to get to do that. Ah, this lady. Hello! Yes, thank you. Old age is no jest. <laughs> is she here? Okay, good. Uh, save it. Just in case there's different dialogue. Whoa! Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well, we're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for Dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. Uh... I'll try. Speak soft. I've dealt with your husband. Have you proof? You didn't mention proof. I want my gold. You're depriving a widow of her pittance. F you. Quiet down. Aren't you afraid of being seen in the company of a witcher? Damn you. Take your gold and be gone. <laughs> I got it. So Zoltan is probably hanging out with other dwarves. What's mm. this? Oh, there he is. <gasps> Zoltan, come here. I'm here, bro. I found you. Yes? Care to drop in on... Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Uh, and that's it. Farewell. Okay. Oh, I should just go to her house now. Sounds good. Quest failed, and now I no longer need to do the autopsy. Oh, okay. That's weird. I've never failed a quest before. Ah, oh, I guess you can fail side quests. Shit. That's kind of strange. Um, I guess it's because I already figured out that this shit was already... Like what was happening with the... Uh, the detective. What is happening? So can we... Is this the party? Is this the party? Can I just do it? Is she here? Or do I have to wait again? 
I can't handle this. My heart. Help. What? What now? Such debauchery under my roof. She hooks herself a musician or something. <laughs> it's the famous poet, Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally, you're making sense. <laughs> this oh, lady. Oh, you're getting old, Granny. Okay, so I invited, I invited my boy Zoltan. Uh, I don't know where he is. Is he gonna show up? Let's save it. Hello, everyone. Geralt. I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Kahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. Uh... I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Ah. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends. Sounds a bit like a ballad. It's the truth and nothing but. Geralt, forgive me. I still can't believe you're here. Listen, Dandelion, I don't have proof because that's impossible. I don't remember. I'm afraid some things can't be explained. Hmm. Let's sit down. Have a drink like old friends. Time will tell who I am. You're right. We've been through too much together. I'd know. Hmm. I think I need a drink. Uh, where is Zoltan? You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Zoltan and I have always gotten along. Good. Good thing I didn't bring the hooker. So, everything's ready. Let's have a drink. Let's do it. Uh, where is he? So, everything's ready. Let's have a drink. <laughs> and now we're gonna get shit-faced here. I've been thinking and I have a question. Huh. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> Let's imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Uh... Silver sword. Potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Um... There's means I'm a part of the blood. It's really... Then I believe it. If you could... <laughs> uh... Vampires are born from black magic, evil by nature. Negotiation usually ends with one of the parties losing a lot of blood, and it's rarely the vampire. And what if the vampire doesn't care to drink blood? They inherently drink blood. But I think you have something else in mind. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a vampire. Dandelion. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Oh, cool. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for good bees. It's coming. Pour around, Geralt. Let's do it. The party is going on. <laughs> Zoltan. Stiff stuff. My eyes are watering. Bees is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, 
booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Everyone drink. Everyone, especially you know, gonna have a drink right now. Gonna have a great, great time. Come here, Shani, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> what is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. Good. Everybody likes Sultan. Who else can I talk to over here? Hey, you. Come here. Dead to the line. <laughs> so, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Oh, interesting. Where do you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Dandelion, what's your point? Is he a vampire? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Oh. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did. So the joke's on you. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. Oh, shit. He was your friend, and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. Oh. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Wow. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Rusty! <laughs> the party continues. This is a really, actually, very interesting, um, side quest. Uh... I, I wonder, I don't know if the next two Witcher games, if any of those have anything to do with Geralt before he lost his memory, but that would be really cool to kind of play his previous adventures. Can I just keep talking to people? You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's right. We need some lard. Oh, no. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. <laughs> that mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles, too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. What? Wait a second. Why me? <laughs> Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion will. He'd mess up. Uh, I'll do it. All right. I'll be right back. I will now rob... So I'm gonna ask me to bring some pickles and lard from Grandma downstairs. Wow. Better save it. This could be dangerous. That's gonna be slow, that's for sure. I'm gonna stumble my ass. <laughs> Down here. Okay, good. Perfect. Little old lady, uh, can I please... Should I just ask her? Where is she? Let's just take it. I don't, I don't need to talk to this lady. I'd rather just keep going. That's a bear. I need pickles and lard. If I can ever make it over there. Phew. Problem is I already kind of raided her house. I don't know if I already took the lard. Hopefully not. Oh, a torch. Perfect. God. Yes. Sprinting while drunk. This is full sprint speed. Very nice. Where's the... Oh, here it is. Grandma's pickles and lard. Perfect with alcohol. Take it. It's a quest item. <laughs> we did it. I'll just stumble back up there. This is amazing. Man, I bet this party is completely different if you invite, like, that prostitute... I wonder who else you can invite. That's very interesting. I think Zoltan was a good choice, though. Everybody gets along with Zoltan. Let me just go up here, get this, take the pickles. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody.
I got him. Let's drink to our mistakes. Who needs these? It's all done. I got your pickles, bro. Pickles is right here. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? What? Zoltan. Fine. Lard will do. Okay, cool. Let's see what Dandelion sings. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, cool. We're all gonna watch. <laughs> Woo! Amazing. There you are. Play me as... Play me something else, bro. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. Too bad none of them sound drunk. By the woods can you see Wolf in all his might Grinning madly, wagging gladly Bouncing with delight My oh my, what a sight Why no melancholy Must be that, still not wed That is why so jolly Arr, arr, arr. In the grass, can you see? Wolf just limps along, looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that freshly wed or lately engaged. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Zoltan, how's the wife? Uh. Hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. Thanks, Shani. Perfect party. Maybe we could uh, bring her some roses and say thanks. Uh, what the f What time is it? Is it not? Oh, it's daytime still. Does she leave? I can't move. I'm just too sloshed right now. There you are. Come here. God. Yeah. Here. Take him. Red roses, Geralt. So you. Uh. You're blushing. <laughs> I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Oh. Well. This gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. <laughs> if you need help. No, I'm fine. He was mysterious, even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know him. Taller? We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over special forces armor. Wow. The coats were supposed to hide them, they didn't know at university, I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Toller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. Mm. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Toller said to the men, this better be important. One of them answered, but chief, we hid invisible like. Oh. Toller said, your balls will be invisible like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Uh, Who were they? Foltest secret police. Uh. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. What? How did this happen? <laughs> oh, Gary. Gary, you're just too charming. How do you do it? Look at her. She's like, ugh. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Uh, great. Well. One more card in my deck. Nice. 
I had no idea that that was gonna happen. I can't talk to her. We'll talk later. Okay, quest completed. And re she reminded me of some things from my past. Okay, good. Did she say something different? I trusted you <laughs> to think what you've been doing upstairs! <laughs> what now? How he plays the innocent. Madam, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Mutation. <laughs> you claim you don't even want to? I swear. I just can't. Poor thing. How about some bread with lard as comfort? No. I really must run. What? Okay. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Um, good. Can she let me rest here? Actually, that was amazing. That was a long quest. Yes. For Shawnee. Uh, let me rest here. But not in that way. Not in that way. Great. Awesome. Did I turn this in already? Who? A witch? Well, never. Nor what bound? Okay. Uh, I'm here. Finally. Yep. I do. Wonderful. Uh, who? Oh, what? No, but he's here. Yes. See this? Farewell. Right. Turn in that quest. 150 orins. Okay, fantastic. Cool. Well, this has been an awesome trek episode again. Really having a lot of fun with this game. There's a lot of depth, a lot of people to talk to, and places to explore, quests to do. Um. And, uh, yeah, just having a really great time with it. Um, it's been uh, a real pleasure just getting to know the world of The Witcher more and more. So this has been Trek episode 59 of the Dulcet Ranger Trek. I'm Dulcet Ranger, and... Thank you so much for being here. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I will see you for the next uh, Witcher Enhanced Edition episode. That'll be part six of this complete playthrough. So I hope you enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next time. Until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>